Thanks so much. Good morning, Rick and Lana. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. We've officially made it past Monday, so we, that is a positive, right? Right? Yeah, it is. All right, we're going to take a look at the temperatures to get you out the door. 70 in Sandy Springs, 70 in Lawrenceville, 68 in Woodstock, and 62 in Noonan. So it's mild out there, but you are going to notice it's pretty muggy right now. That's thanks to our stalled front that is still hanging out over North Georgia. That's going to give us a hot and humid afternoon as that moisture stays trapped in our atmosphere. And we'll also have the chance for more widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Of course, we're still watching this cold front out to our west slowing down though. So that's going to change the timing of our rain. And it's also going to change when that lower humidity finally ushers in. It's going to take just a little longer than a originally anticipated. So let's take you through the day today. We'll stay mainly dry, mostly sunny to partly cloudy through your lunch hour. As we head towards two, three o'clock, that's when scattered showers and storms start to fire up. Any storms that form through the heat of the day today could carry some heavier downpours, some gusty wind, and also some frequent lightning. So as you're thinking about getting the kids ready to go to school, you might want to send them with the umbrella or the raincoat. And of course, for any administrators or coaches watching this morning, you'll probably want to pay attention for those after school sports activities and practices today. We'll keep that chance for showers and storms for your evening commute as well. So just take it easy on the roads headed home tonight. That front finally moves in later this evening and as it does so it's going to keep the chance for rain even past sunset. The past couple of days as we've made our way through the overnight things have quieted down, but that front is going to allow showers and storms to continue through the overnight, potentially even into tomorrow morning. So we could very well be tracking some showers and maybe a rumble of thunder for your morning commute tomorrow. Just just something to think about as you're looking ahead to tomorrow morning. So tonight lows will drop near 70 again. That chance for scattered showers through the overnight hours tomorrow. It looks like the morning could carry the best chance for rain and then we'll dry out through the afternoon with spotty storms possible mainly south of the city for the evening hours and temperatures tomorrow a little warmer as well with that front moving slower. It looks like we'll be in the mid to upper 80s. Now this weekend we'll have a second front move in and this cold front seems to be the one that's going to clean sweep us and bring us that lower humidity to start next week. So something that we will be anxiously awaiting for. I know uh, it's a little too far out to be thinking about next Monday, but at least it looks like we'll start next work week with some really beautiful weather. I do want to touch on the tropics quickly. We have Hurricane Lee, a major category three storm. This is going to cause some issues when it comes to rip current and high surf along the Atlantic coast. So if you had any travel plans for any reason this week to the coastline to head to any of the beaches, you just want to be very careful if you plan on getting in the water. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if lifeguards weren't even letting people in the water because of that. And this could impact anywhere from New York, Boston up to Maine as we head into the end of the week and into the weekend. So if you had travel plans to the Northeast this weekend, something you'll want to be paying very close attention to some rain and wind definitely in the forecast up there. So 40% coverage of storms today. Low 90s will feel more like the mid to upper 90s. We'll have the chance for rain tomorrow, especially in the morning, and then we'll go in the low 80s to round out the week. That second front moves in over the weekend, offering us a small chance for storms, and we'll kick off next work week with lots of sunshine and low to mid 80s. Let's get a quick